everybody this is Connie if you can't tell I thought I'd show you how to not wear makeup today <laughs> I started out bad and it progressively got worse so I thought I would show you what I'm wearing today and let you be the judge I'm not happy with my look today first of all my hair is out of control it is right at the length where um, it doesn't want to stay behind my ears and it looks so weird up over my ears right now but just because it's right at that a certain length where it drives you nuts so I thought I did this while I was doing my makeup today and I thought it doesn't look that bad so I'll just keep it that way <laughs> it probably looks better than it did before so anyway um, what I did was first thing I did was put this on and gotta tell you not impressed um, I thought I would try the BB cream, BB cream uh, you know because I've heard good things about it here goes my nose and uh, anyway um, I tried it first with a brush and that all it did was smear that's all it did I used um, I got these brushes from Bellagio and I used this brush to put it on with that's what it's for it's for that's what it says anywhere it says uh, Fierce foundation and powder brush. Well, it did not do a darn bit of good with my foundation. So, um, or with the BB cream. So I used my beauty, my poor beat up beauty blender. Uh, Real Techniques beauty blender. And it helped. But, um, I, first of all, I put lotion on. Um, I always do that before I do anything else. But I've got some terrible dry patches up here. Just terrible. Um, anyway, that was the BB cream that I used. Then I used, then I went in and did my eyebrows, you know, with same stuff I always use with a little slanted brush. And they didn't turn out very good today either. <laughs> um, I, tried, I tried going a little bit more with them. I mean, a little darker with them. And I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. Are they bad? Are they good? Is the color bad? I need a pencil and right now I have no money to buy any makeup what's deep my groceries what <laughs> but anyway um, I need an eye pencil um, I've seen people doing their eyebrows with the eye pencil and I want to try that I don't have one anyway then I did um, <laughs> then I was I decided I was getting to use this Revlon um, cream shadows they suck as far as I'm concerned I don't like them whatsoever um, I decided I was gonna do a little color today so I went which I never do I always just wear the browns and the neutrals and stuff you know so I went in first with this color here I'll open it up so you can see what they actually look like they don't actually look like that went in with this color um, all over my lid and then I went with the blue over you know up just past my crease blended that out and then I went with the brown again over just my a little bit of my lid because the blue just was nuts um, I'm gonna be giving this away if anybody wants it um, you can clean it with alcohol whatever um, that was the first time I'd ever used it by the way um, I'm not impressed other people like the cream eyeshadows to me um, when you got to put it on I'm not good enough with my finger I guess to do that <laughs> anyway um, I just realized and then I and then I put my eyeliner on and I decided to do it on the top lid again today and I don't like it um, I like it on the bottom lid I don't like it on the top I just for me you know so many people look good with it that way I don't think that it looks good that way with me anyway so I did that um, and I used let's see here I used my julep uh, gel eye glider which which I like I like but um, you know just not happy with my makeup today at all so then I went and I used my ready set uh, gorgeous 
concealer, you know, which does the same as it always does. It doesn't really cover anything up for me. Then I did, I went in, I'm try, I'm going from the back of my desk to the front and using a different um, blush and highlighter every time. So this time was Milani Baked Blush in Berry Amore. And that's what it looks like. And it, I used a, a Bellagio brush on that too. And I don't know, I think it looks a little dark, but I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. And then I went with the, my Sim my new Cindy Luminizer um, on top of that. Beautiful! I'm so happy with that. Here's the lotion I used, by the way. Then for lipstick, I did... Um, if any of you watched my last video, I'm going through all of my lipsticks and I'm sorting ones I don't want, ones I do want. So I'm decluttering, but I'm doing it. I'm going to wear a different lipstick every single day. And if I like it, it goes into one pile. If I don't, it goes in the giveaway stuff. Anyway, this is um, Color Sensational Red Revolution 630. Come on. Come on. I know you can do it. Oh, that's a little better. Okay. So anyway, that's my makeup disaster. I'm not happy with my makeup at all today. <laughs> anyway, the whole reason that I came on here was to, um, I got, I want a giveaway. And the giveaway was from Kristen S. And she is from Boring to Fabulous is her YouTube name. And I will link her down below. She's a wonderful lady. Uh, go ahead and watch her. She's great. Okay, so I will get in with the um, giveaway stuff. First thing in the giveaway was, which I don't know how I'm going to use this, uh, but it's a one-inch ceramic straightener by Vital Sassoon. I will keep it. Because, since I'm growing my hair out, maybe it'll come and be of use to me. I'm hoping. But it looks like very good. Um, it's got a high, low, and off switch that I can see. Um, it's the, what did I say it was? One inch ceramic. And ceramic, I guess, is pretty good, huh? I don't, I don't even know. Okay. And then there is some makeup cleansing tissues by Absolute. They look like that. So I'm happy about that. I'm always happy to get new makeup um, stuff to use. And then there was a couple lipsticks in there and I will open them. Should have done that off camera and swatch them because I can tell already I'm going to like both colors. one. At least these are a little easier to open. Some of them are a bear. Okay, so the first one is a 520E Hot Paris Pink, it's called. Pretty. And that's what it looks like. Very pretty. I can tell you already I'm going to like it, but I'm going to put it in my drawer that I have to test. Take it out of there. I'm going to take pictures of this stuff. And then the next one is 514A Cherry Frost. Cherry Frost. And that is a beautiful red. And that is over here. Gorgeous. I like them both a lot. Okay. That's that. Then I got a, um, it's a Xylus Shake and Go Shaker. And it's got 500 mil or 16 fluid ounces. This is what it looks like. And you open it. I already looked at this, and I don't know. Let's 
is kind of awkward when this thing just flips up. But I'm going to see if I like it. And it's got the shaker thing right in there like that. And I am not much of a protein girl, so I might pass this on. But I'm not real sure. I might. I got to think about that one. Okay, the next thing is H2O. And it's a, it's a comes in a set, which is really cool. I love this this bag it comes in. It's got the it's kind of green metallic. Um, it's got a handle here. But anyway, these are it's H2O plus um, spa, and it's sea moss replenishing replenishing body wash. Uh, cleanses and restores moisture. And then sea moss black sand body scrub, and that says gently gently exfoliates and smooths. And the next one is sea moss replenishing body lotion, and deeply hydrates and softens. So I'm excited to start using those actually. And then the last thing in here is a wet and wild set. And it is a 10 plus beauty benefit. It's got one eyeshadow primer, one eyeshadow, and one cream eyeliner. And this is Wet n Wild Los Angeles new all in one eye amazing makeup kit by Fergie. See, it's got the brush. Um, Wish I would have used this today instead of what I've got on. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to take some pictures of those. She wrote me a very nice little note. Very cute little pandas at the bottom. The top is personal as always, but um, I did let her know that I got her goodies and I will be taking pictures. I also um, have a few review items, but I'm not going to do those yet. I'm going to wait till the end of the week, see if I get more in. I just have a few for now. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think, guys. No hurtful comments, I, which I know you guys won't. But um, tell me what I should have done different. I'd love to love to hear your comments. I just I I just don't think I like blue on my eyes, even though my eyes are blue. Not this kind of blue anyway. So I don't know. We'll see. So anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I love you guys. Thank you so much for sticking with me, and I will try to um, keep up and start doing some uh, more videos. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.